good morning children how are you all are happy all of you wrote the homework also so two lessons is understanding today let us new lesson is started fiber to fabric fiber to fabric what is fiber fibers are long strong flexible thread like structures are used to make fabrics long thread like flexible structures are used to make fabric or clothing material so this fabric is make our that is a dress if we are wear in different types of dresses so that is a some is a silk cloth is how nylon rayon cloth is how nylon cloth is how woolen cloth is how cotton cloth is how so we are already understanding cotton cloth is given cotton plant and woolen cloth is given woolen that is a sheep that is your already understanding so two types of fabrics is how that is a natural fabric and synthetic fabric natural fabric and synthetic fabric natural fabric is plants and animals is given synthetic plant fabrics or man made fabrics is nylon rayon and uh, the terrilin okay so today we are learns animals animals is they are made up of proteins they are animals animals is wool and silk is given silk is given silk worm so let us here that is we are learns in the look at here so animal fibers this is wool is obtained from fur covering fur or hair is how for fur, hair is how so this is this is uh, giving wool wool is given this is given the body of this animals are covered with thick hair of thick coat of hair is how thick coat of hair is called that is called fleece that is the body of this animals is covered by thick coat of hair is called fleece silk is obtained from cocoon silk worms next wool is present thick coat of hair on the body is called wool yielding animals this is a thick coat of hair is present in the body that is called wool yielding animals which animal sheep kashmiri goats yak angora goat understand it and camels also have llama also have alpaca also have rabbit also have okay wool is a high tensile strength and high elasticity high elasticity more up to la large light to weight and more water is absorbed and easily dyed easily dyed it is considerably resilient that is called resilient that is on account on account of this properties of fabric made from wool have ability to retain shape better than better than the fabrics made from other natural materials okay understand so rearing and breeding of sheep rearing of sheep means after the sheep by providing food shelter and health care so that is why that is a sheep is giving wool so sheep is giving wool so that sheep is rearing then the big field is a place is wander one big farm is wander that is a shelter also wander that sheep is a wood food also wander and health caring also wander why that is given wool and we are wearing that wool and clothes so that is a this sheep is who looks after the sheep that person is called shepherd so that is a who looks after the uh, teaching that is called teacher so like that only who looks after the sheep that person is called shepherd so that is uh, that uh, sheep are eating herb uh, grass eating uh, grass eating that is called herbivorous that is called herbivorous animals herbivorous animals so shepherd are take herds sheep to open grass shepherd shepherds are take and herds of the open field and grazing the grazing grasslands for grazing grasslands for grazing apart from from grazing grass the sheep also fed a mixture of pulses eating corn eating jowar oil cake oil cake and groundnut that is a oil cake 
also it so minar in winters sheep are kept indoors indoors and fed on leaves grains and tri fodder tri fodder so which time winter time winter time shepherd that is a that is shepherds is not take and going field that sheep is kept indoors only and that time leaves grains tri fodder is wonder that time shepherd is given so in case animals breeding is done to obtain animals with characteristic different good qualities how that is a bad qualities how the two individual desirable characteristic is how that is selected as parents these are then crossed made to produce these are then crossed to obtain new breed of the animals having desirable characteristic page number 34 that is reading these are then crossed to obtain new breed of the animals having desirable characteristic of the both parents this is called selective breeding what is selective breeding with this process certain high yield breeds of sheep have been raised then they have thick coat of hair on their bodies which yield good quality wool large quantity good quality how large quantities how some uh, table is given that is a name of breed quality of wool state where found lohi that is a good quality of wool rajasthan punjab rampur bushair brown fleece uttar pradesh himachal pradesh nali carpet wool rajasthan haryana punjab bakravel for woolen shawls jammu and kashmir marwari coarse wool gujarat pathanwadi for hosri gujarat this is okay this is again one day this test book also read any doubt afterwards ask me okay thank you children